My name is Harry Udenbeck. I'm the president of the Belmont Chapel Foundation. The chapel was built between 1884 and 1886 by August and Caroline Belmont in honor of their daughter, Jane Pauline Belmont. Starting around 1960, the chapel began to fall into disrepair. Uh, there were trees planted around the exterior of the building. There was a wisteria vine planted at the base of the steeple and there was ivy that grew up around the building. There were roughly five holes in the roof and you could look out and see the sky. So there were 35 plus years of rain, leaves, and debris that came down and you saw the damage and felt what a shame, but I, I personally still felt that the building had its own beauty to it and it was a very attractive, like a reverent type of place. Our goal was to do a historic preservation restoration, and we had a uh, structural assessment done to make sure that we were on a solid foundation and we weren't gonna start fixing up a building that was structurally unsound. All the stained glass windows were in a severe state of disrepair. They had BB holes and people had thrown rocks at them, but yet they still had their beautiful images that were there. There are areas that had to be repaired and it's different with each window, but we were very fortunate and the majority of glass in each window is original. The painting in the chancel by the altar, we had a company called BCA from Boston. They did a paint analysis of the plaster and they managed to tell us what was there. So then we had the John Cannon Company come in and they painted everything so it's all historically accurate. Once we got this project going, the community came alive with interest. My name is Sharon Hussey and my position is as Executive Director of the cemetery and I'm also the Grants Manager and a support person for the Belmont Chapel Foundation. We have been fabulously lucky to be in this community where there are so many foundations and individuals who are truly interested in preserving and restoring the historic buildings. When I think about it, I just am so grateful that we were able to do it and I'm proud that, you know, we had a part in it and that we're ensuring that it is here for future generations to also learn from and enjoy using. The mission statement for the Belmont Chapel Foundation is to respect the past, engage the present, and look to the future. So we feel that uh, looking to the future with the chapel, we have to make it usable for the world we live in today.